Hi, so I bought this camera and it is very good. I'm using it on my plane as it is intended, but you can use it for other stuff. It has analog video output and some serial port controller, whatever it is, also Wi Fi. So, yeah, and it's very cheap, so that's quite good. I mean, even if you like compare it to other stuff that it's not like designed for RC, it's quite cheap, so. But it has some quite major problems, I think, at least. And one of them is like this micro USB port, which... Yeah, it's not very great if you like want to handle this quite roughly. So... The other one is that it is designed to be operated on quite high ranges of voltage. Like, you can power it from 5 to like, I don't know, 20 volts or something like that. But it's not protected if you reverse the polarity. It happened to me because I was using it with this uh, flight controller and camera is, I think, somewhere here. Yeah, so it's... It's this part and as you can see, there is positive, there is negative and there is signal. So I have cable prepared for this configuration of or this layout and I connected camera to the battery directly so I did not check and suddenly smoke came out so in this video I will try to bring smoke back now here is another camera I broke the lens so this is some random that I found and as you can see here is no micro SD port so I it's not like that I only think that it is a weak point but it really is weak point so I am going to demonstrate repair on this piece because I don't want to really mess with one that is working. So you remove this four screws, then flip it around and you have to like push this upper board down while you are opening this. Because here is camera on flex cable, so you have to disconnect that and you are left with board. So normally this part of the board would be covered by can like that, but I couldn't find DC to DC converters at first because I was like, why would DC to DC converter would be can't? Like, that doesn't make any sense, but then this is designed for RC stuff, so that's pretty cool actually that they, done, they have done that. And this is just some Wi-Fi stuff. So I assume this would be DC to DC converter, primary one. There are some other stuff on the back side, but you know, this IC was like destroyed, it was burned. So to fix it you have to remove it and replace it with working one. Unfortunately I am not sure what the part number is and if there is some off the shelf part, but it would be pretty good if there was. I got mine from another camera that was damaged as I said. Okay, so first thing I will do, I don't have heat gun really, so I am going to do caveman method. And this is also to demonstrate that you can do this also. So I'm going to use a lot of, a lot of solder and I'm going to remove this capacitor first. It will take some time because this board has very high heat capacity. So also helps if you have powerful soldering iron. Come on man. You should be molten already. Nice. So here you can see the capacitor. Just make sure to remove only what you really want. And this will be much more tricky because I cannot see anything. Okay, this will need flux. A lot of flux. I can't see. You cannot too, so.
Ah, uh, here he comes. Yep. Okay, so here are two parts removed and ideally you should remove as much solder as possible from these pads because you would have quite a big trouble aligning the new IC on there. So you can put the good one here. Just remember that the polarity is marked on the board and this is a little bit tricky, especially if you are doing it on camera. Yeah, looks about right. Ideally you would only solder one pad and then check the alignment of the chip. Oops. Yeah, looks about right. And then start soldering the other side. And try to not breach the pads. I think I a little bit fucked it up. What? Why? Okay, I see. Oh, of course I fucking breached the pads. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's do the capacitor now. This would be much. This will be much easier because this can be like not perfect on there. It doesn't really help that this board has heat capacity of fucking gold brick. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so this is how the IC is, is soldered, it's nothing to write home about really, but should work fine. Okay, so finally if all is good, this should boot up. I'm not sure if this blinking is correct or intended, but it does boot up. If I will find out what the part number is, I will put it in the description. If you know, leave it in the comments. I don't know right now, so... Yeah, see you next time.